let's listen to this particular I had sounds pretty nice for this particular hi-hat what I did uh, I wanted to draw mode by right-clicking again it's cut off on the screen I apologize about that and then I actually drew this in all the way across um, I'm gonna exit out of draw mode right-clicking going out in draw mode and uh, left-clicking now if I play this back it's pretty cool um, it sounds pretty uh, busy and competing with the other sounds another thing uh, I want to make sure you do is look for opportunities to widen the stereo width of your track and and this hi-hat is a great uh, is one example of uh, a way we can do that um, if we click on a particular or audition a particular sound um, here you'll notice that it highlights all the um, all of the ones that have been drawn in right so if I click on option and I drag up I can copy all of those um, notes or samples that were drawn in to the to the next uh, sound bank if you will um, what I did is I alternated um, which sound was being played in the left and right channels so if I remove the odd or the evens and then I remove the odds here it's going to alternate now, right now, it's going to sound the same if I press play or spacebar. And that's because I haven't panned them. So if I go back over here to this instance of impulse and I find the first, um, the first hi-hat right here and I pan this one to the left, I don't know, not all the way, maybe 29. And I come here and I pan this one, all, uh, not all the way, but 29 to the right. So this one's panned to the left, this one's panned to the right. That's kind of give you that ping pong effect and uh, going off in each ear. Now, that sounds nice, but it's a little bit too loud. So let's drop it down, maybe 10.9. We want to make sure we drop them down evenly. Okay. It almost sounds like they've disappeared, but that's okay. Because when I slap the compressor on, adjust the settings, it's definitely going to bring them out. Uh, one of the things that I added to this particular um, drum kit also was uh, some uh, percussion sample. I think I used uh, number seven. Yeah, there we go. So let's drag number seven in. Yeah, that's it. We'll go back in here. Um, I think what I did is I, I drew this in. Uh, let's see here. I think in this format, uh, bar one, beat three, no position three, bar one, uh, beat four, position one, and position three. So if I play that back, let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Um, it's a little bit high or a little hot for me. So let's go ahead and turn that down. Maybe, I don't know, 6.29 dB, something like that. One of the things I will notice when I play this, notice that we're clipping here, and uh, definitely on the master, right? So before we bring this into, or before we add the compressor, um, let's drop uh, the the envelope, the volume um, of the entire kit down, I don't know, maybe 9.71. So now if we look, we're not clipping on the track or on the master, right? Um, if I go back up to our instruments um, and effects, this button right here, um, you'll see that under audio effects, let's collapse the instruments, that we have a compressor. We'll go ahead and click and drag and drop after the impulse kit uh, synthesizer or drum rack. Um, when we have uh, this compressor, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, squash our peaks and raise our our soft sounding sounds within the mix. Um, I'll go over a better uh, definition and explanation of compressors in a future video, but for right now let's talk about the settings that I use for this particular um, loop or um, yeah one bar loop right. One of the things that you want to know that for this uh, drum kit the attack it should be um, it shouldn't be too quick. Um, it shouldn't be too slow. Um, we we definitely what we want to do is allow the 
um, snap of the kick to, to, to pass through the compressor before it actually starts compressing the sound. We don't want to compress the initial snap of the snare or the kick. So I think I went with, um, let's see, 0.27 of an attack time. Obviously you need to adjust by ear. Um, and as I record this tutorial, I've got headphones listening to myself in the mic, but um, a little bit difficult to hear the sounds that are being played. Um, the release needs to be quick because uh, in this loop, this, these drum samples are being um, played sequentially very quickly. So if we drop the release down um, uh, all the way, then it will allow the compressor to react to the next sound coming in very quickly. Um, uh, for compression, I didn't want to squash the drums too much because they are uh, samples, uh, electronic samples already, so I used a ratio of three. Um, and what we're doing here is adjusting the threshold of when this compressor, sh compressor should start kicking in, right? So if we play this uh, loop and we, address, uh, we adjust the sh threshold in order to see, I don't know, maybe four to six uh, dBs of gain reduction. That's what this little column is right here. This is your gain reduction column. So I'll go ahead and press spacebar. I'll start dragging the threshold down until I see the correct uh, or the proper amount of gain reduction that I'm looking for. I think it, I ended up going with like 14.3 um, dB of a threshold, which equated to like 5 dB of gain reduction, right? Over here, um, we have a uh, makeup gain, right? If we turn this off, the compressor doesn't make up what it, what it loses in gain reduction, but if you turn it on, what it's doing is it's, for every dB of gain reduction that it loses, it's giving it back uh, by increasing the output of the sound. Obviously, we're, click, we're clipping on the master track here. Um, so in order to not clip on the master track, we can definitely, we can address the track volumes. We can address the envelope of the particular impulse kit. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, we're gonna save it for another video um, for mixing. But uh, this is the loop that we've got so far. I'll, I'll turn the compressor on and off so you can hear it with and without. This is obviously with. This is obviously without. All right, well, hey, thanks for uh, joining us for this tutorial on programming the impulse uh, in Ableton Live. Um, please look forward to new tutorials um, available soon on 40tv.com. This is your host, uh, 40. Look forward to seeing you next time, and uh, have a, a great day. Thanks.